this next project, we are going to be making a caterpillar puppet. So what you need is your sock, elastics, your paint palette, some water, mine's still dirty from my last project, but that's fine. Your glue, this eyeball and nose combination, that's so funny. And then these triangle pieces and some little elastics. All right, so go ahead, open up your Caterpillar Puppet Box, get everything out that you need and press play when you're ready to start. Okay, for the first step, we are going to tie some elastics around our sock. So going lengthwise, meaning the long way, we're just gonna kind of bunch it up into a tube. And we are going to add elastics going all the way down. You can do as many as you like, or as little as you like. We are gonna be painting this and adding on different colors to make a caterpillar color. So go ahead, press pause, and add elastics on your sock all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and then press play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, I have all of my la elastics on my entire sock. Now we just wanna paint using our paint palette all of the different sections. You can do it like a rainbow color like I'm gonna do. Just make sure you get your paint palette really wet. If you wanna take a spray bottle and wet all your paints first, you can do that as well. But I'm just gonna get lots on my brush, lots of water, and I'm just gonna paint it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered. But go ahead and paint your sock. It soaks in really fast, so you gotta use a lot of paint. Go, and when you're ready for the next color, just rinse your brush off. Get the next color. And add it on, okay? So go ahead, press pause, take your time, enjoy your time just painting all of the different colors. You can do a pattern if you want. You could do like red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, or you could do black and brown, black and brown, whatever you want. You could maybe a green and yellow. Some caterpillars are green and yellow. I'm doing rainbow. You do whatever you want, okay? Just take your time and press play when you're ready for the next step. I'm all done painting my sock. Now I can just go ahead and cut off all the elastics. You can pull them off with your finger. I'm gonna cut it just cause that's gonna be easier. And this should create like a cool tie dye effect. Let's see how it looks. Try and make sure I don't cut the actual sock. All right, let's see how it looks. Ooh, very cool. Awesome, this part's really white. I wish it maybe I scrunched it a bit more over here, but maybe that can be the bottom of my work. I love this. All right, so go ahead, press pause, take off your elastics. There should be some white spots, and then we get started on the next part. Now we can start gluing on some of our decorations. So I'm just gonna take the front of the toe, you know where your toes, like your big toe would go there, your second, and then your baby toe over here. There's like a seam going across. You wanna make it flat like that, okay? Like that, and then you're gonna wanna get your glue. Make sure the safety thing is taken off, like the plug. There's a plug in there, not mine, I already took it off. Make sure you get that off. And then we are gonna start gluing down some of our decorations. So I have these little triangle spike things. I'm gonna have them going down this way. I like that. Oh my gosh, this one has green eggs and ham. There we go. Maybe I'll move it up more like this. Decide where you wanna place them. These are kind of just like the caterpillar scales. There you go. Now add a lot of glue to the back so it sticks on good. I'm gonna just 
just want to add on all my pieces. You can put these on however you want. It's just kind of decoration to add more texture to our caterpillar. I'm putting lots of glue just to make sure it sticks on really good. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead, press pause and add on your little triangle pieces. Once you have your triangle pieces on, the last thing we wanna add on is our little nose eyeball combination. Once again, put on lots of glue. So it sticks on really good. And we're just gonna put it right on like that. And now we have a really cool caterpill, caterpillar looking puppet. All right, so let's wait for this to dry before we try it out. Probably take like 45 minutes or something, but wait for it to dry. You can add in some other paint colors while you wait for it to dry. If you wanna add in any more colors, it's up to you. Okay, press play when you're done. Okay, now that my sock puppet is all done, I wanna show you guys how you can turn your Art Lab in a Box into a puppet stage puppet show kind of thing okay so you will need an adult help for this someone old enough to use an exacto knife or a sharp pair of scissors it is really hard to cut cardboard so you cannot do this yourself you definitely need an adult or someone older to help you with this the first thing we're going to want to do to make our puppet show box is we are going to want to cut out the inner white circle of your box I'm gonna be using my X-Acto knife. Very dangerous for kids. Do not try this at home unless your parent is with you. I'm just gonna cut it to make a little hole in here so we can put on a really cool puppet show. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking my camera. Okay, there we go. That was hard to do. We have this cutout. You could use this for something else. It's so cute. But we have this looking box now. Now we just want to cut out a hole on the bottom so that we can put our hand through. So I'm just going to go ahead and close the box, seal it up like this. Perfect. So now it looks kind of like a little TV. This is gonna be really cool. And I'm just gonna take this bottom part and I'll draw it. You're just gonna cut out a hole big enough, you know, that can fit your arm, okay? So getting a parent's help, we are gonna cut this out. If it's easier to cut a square parent's, cut a square, whatever you got. Uh, a steak knife works really well for this. If you don't have an exacto knife, just please be careful. So let's test it out. I'm gonna put my puppet on. Hello. And then let's see if my arm fits through. Ta-da! Welcome to the Art Lab Puppet Show. Okay, here we have it. I'm through. And there we go. We are all set to do puppety things and put on a cool, funny puppet show for our families. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you had fun making this. You can always add more details and decorations to your puppet theater, and that's it. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>